Hey everyone, it is Rebecca in my studio, and today is Saturday, so we're going to be doing folding of some sort. We're going to take one folder today, and we're going to make, if I can get them picked up, three lovely, lovely little folders that go inside a junk journal. So I can't wait to get started. Come on over to my table with me and let's start creating. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do now that we're on my creative desk. We are going to create these three little jewels out of one file folder. And this one opens like this. This one, if I can figure it out, opens like this. And I haven't, haven't done anything to these except age the edges and put some scrapbook paper on them. So this one we're going to finish today, but first I'm going to show you how this happens with one folder. This one is going to be cut from this section up here. So this one is from this little hump that you can see. I hope, am I on camera? This little, um, not little, this little section that's raised. Because some of them are raised, some of them are down. So we're going to start there. And it is seven and three quarters for our top one. It is this one comes from this section in the middle. Maybe I'll turn it this way. This might help stay on screen. So there you can see how we get all three of these from one file folder. So the first thing we're going to do is score everything and then we are going to take them off and cut them. Hopefully, we'll do it right. <laughs> okay. So, let me move my little papers over here. And come in here. And it's better to score from this direction, if that makes sense. So, I want to score dividing this evenly across. It is three and seven eighths each one of these sections. Okay, that makes sense. Hope, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Hopefully I will get this squared up. And if you're gonna air on air to the middle one to be a little bit bigger, if that makes sense. So our first score was three and seven eighths. So our second score is going to be at seven and three quarters. Right about seven and three quarters. And make sure that's really well scored so it will go through both sides of this file folder. Let me put this back so I don't lose my little scoring tool. And then we are going to cut. So bear with me. We're going to cut here at seven and three eighths. I mean seven and three fourths. And these are okay. If you want to, if you want to make a smaller one this way and a bigger one this way, just have at it. So that is our tall one. And it folds well, good. I scored it well. Get this under here. And this one is gonna be cut at the four and one quarter inch tall. Round and about. Close is good enough for this. And the reason I made these cuts was because I wanted this little folding place that's in the middle of our folder to be a natural pocket for one of these. 
So hopefully this folds well. So that's, this is the time to work out the kinks of your scoring. <laughs> if you didn't do it right. So it looks like that one's pretty darn good. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the camera work. And let's see how this one is. I think that's going to be the back. So let me fold it in first. pretty darn good. Sometimes you may have to cut the bottoms off to square it up or something like that, but I think we did pretty darn well this time with all three of them. I'm excited about that. I did something right on camera for once. So that one will fold this way if all goes well. Cool. We did it. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. So then the next thing you will do is come in and find some coordinating scrapbook paper if that's what you want. Or you can find certainly other things if that's what you want. So I cut pieces to go on my front. So that'll be the front. Maybe that'll be the front. We shall see. And I like rounded edges, so I just rounded all the edges of these, and I just antique, distressed, stained the edges. And I'm really giving it a go with this um, distress ink and this little dauber thingy. Cause that's what most people do. You know, I usually age with shoe polish. But somebody said, that takes much longer, Rebecca. But I don't know. For me, it doesn't seem to. For me, this seems to take longer. So anyway, we want to make sure that fits. And there will be a little gap in here. If you cut it, leave a little gap right in there and because it needs to fold. So you really don't want paper crossing the fold, or I don't want paper crossing the fold, but it's per it's a personal choice, I think, as far as if you want paper to wrap the fold. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in here and hopefully my glue is gonna cooperate today. And I prefer to use this over the um, glue stick for books that I know are going to be used a lot. This is going to be taken in and out of its folders many times, so I want to make sure that it doesn't get messed up. So center that as well as you can, getting it straight. I usually try to align by this bottom edge down there because that seems to be the place that everybody kind of looks. So anyway, that is finished, kind of. And I might, that's a little bothersome to me. We can fold it this way or we could fold it this way. So it's up to you. I think maybe I will fold it this way and leave that edge there, but now is the time to distress all the edges of the file folder. And you could have done this before. You could have done that before you glued, certainly. All the edges because that hides any areas that are not straight <laughs> as sometimes happens and then we want to edge this edge right along there also because that also hides any boo-boos or gaps but this is like I've always said this is handmade 
So let it look handmade. Well, not sloppy by any means, but enjoy the handmadeness of it. And especially as your hands get older <laughs> and they don't seem to work as well, just embrace that and celebrate that. All right, and let's come. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and do this inner edge on both sides. And the top edges. Whoops. Get your act together, Rebecca. I'll figure out that you're holding place. And I'm moving real fast, so it's kind of sloppy. But anyway, it's aged. If we put paper over that, you're not going to see too much of that area. Okay. All right. So I think it's going to fall that way. I think that's going to be my outside. I'm cool with that. And then we can make some decisions about what we're going to do on the inside. Are we going to leave the inside a folder and sew signatures in? Are we going to decorate the inside? Um, as you can see, there's some areas like this of the paper. So that's a choice whether you want to trim that off or you want to leave it like that. And I think I am going to trim. I'm the world's worst trimmer, you know. But I think I am just going to go ahead and trim so that if I put anything on this side, it will... I'll be able to trim it also. So anyway, get rid of any of your out of position things right now. Try not to cut my file folder. Turn the folder, not the scissors. Okay. I did a pretty darn good job there, but we need to come back and probably age these edges once again, just because. <laughs> Don't you love this? Don't you absolutely love this? Getting in your studio and creating is so much fun. And you can actually round the edges at the bottom if you like. I don't think I'm going to do that on this one. But anyway, there are all three of these. And you can make your choices to do and decorate however you like. I hope you're going to take this a file folder and make three of these beautiful, beautiful, I think they're beautiful little booklets so that you can have all the fun in the world with file folders. I have a million of them from when I had my own business. I was always, I, I loved to file. That's one of the things I really liked to do and everybody's like, oh my gosh, Rebecca, why would you like to file? But that was just a fun Thing for me to do and I was good at it so I have all the file necessary file things but I've got a ton of hanging folders and of the manila folders so we're going to be doing a lot of this as we're working through our daily creative practice over the next next year gosh this is day 60 already we are moving right along and it's 
It's our happy leap year day because this is our extra day this year. So we really want to embrace that and have fun and make it really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and continue after we get off of here and do some more decoration and play in these books. And I will show you some pictures of that at the end of this video. But for now... Get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. I love you guys to pieces. May joy be with you all.